Good morning. Very overcast today. We're forecast showers today. We're going from here to Alrawas, or however you want to pronounce it. But that's where we're heading to, hopefully today. Uh, we had a cosy night, very quiet night here last night, although the pups were all over me when we had the telly on last night. They like the telly. They're terrible. They're worse than the kids. So we've got four locks here through Fradley Junction, two to go down past the Mucky Duck, and then two more as we drop down through. And then, well, we're not sure what we're doing as we cruise on. But uh, for now, I'm gonna make a coffee and we're up to the top lock. Yeah, well, I started to walk down to the lock. Uh, as last night there was uh, a boat on the lock landing but he has actually moved down he's going on ahead of us so that means every lock is going to be against us unless of course there's a boat below the lock waiting to come up but uh, we'll see anyway either way the locks have to be filled Very windy this morning, just taking our time. There's a boat just come out of this lock and there's Steve following us down. And here we are now at Fradley Junction. If you turn right, just up there, that's the Coventry Canal. It takes you to Coventry Basin. Of course, Sutton Stop or Hawkesbury Junction with the Greyhound Pub. And talking of pubs, I think most people know this one. It's the Swan, commonly known to the boaters as the Mucky Duck. And very nice it is too. And both Nicky and myself love that house, that first little house there. It's just perfect. Yeah, just the junction lock, the third lock of the morning. And these little lock cottages here, they're just beautiful. In the ideal spot, beautiful.
Well, we have just used the services there, just got rid of some rubbish and emptied the loo. Lovely caf cafe there. This gentleman's on the water point, but we don't need it, so Steve's gone round us. And now we're gonna follow him down through the locks. Two more remaining at Fradley. And these little strengtheners are throughout these locks, obviously giving them strength. I actually quite like them. <laughs> One more lock to do. I obviously can't count. local skiing club. Unfortunately, lack of funds means they have no skis. So we're just going into the last lock here at Fradley and if I can count this time I think there's two more down into Arobos. Oh, looking forward to a cup of tea after this one and a couple of little shortbreads. That'll be nice. Already, we're on our next lock. Now 
and it seems that we've got a bit of blue sky with us as we go into common lock here just before the newish Fradley Marina I'm, I came through here uh, this was just a hole in the ground they were still building it yeah how things change everything changes so quickly I don't know if that's a bad thing what do you think <laughs> this morning Lock of the day is just in front of us and the wind's getting up. Looks like we've got some lockies on at this last lock of the day. Lovely. So we're at Bagnall Lock. Lucky heaven. There's lockies everywhere, darling. Everywhere. I get a uh, lock off. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Thanks very much guys, thank you. Hello! Gonna wave! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Do the colours get much better than that?
Steve. That's it, we're all moored up in Alrawas or Oliwas or however you want to pronounce it. That's where we are. Uh, we're going to get the pups in their chugger buggy now and get the dogs on their leads and all of us are going to go for a wander around the village and have a little wander, perhaps get some chips for dinner. Who knows? But we'll catch you when we get moving again. Tomorrow, probably. See you later. A very good morning to you. It's Wednesday, the 22nd of November, and here we are in Alrawas. We had a lovely walk around the town or village or whatever you want to call it. And we'll have a chat about that when we get going. Uh, the kids are just walking the doggy just down there by Steve's boat. Steve's checking the river section. He's had a walk down there. We have got a short river section today on the River Trent, so we need to make sure the levels are okay. They were fine yesterday. They were on amber yesterday. Um, so yeah, all should be good. And this house here had their Christmas trees up last night. We noticed that uh, the lights were on on two Christmas trees. Yeah, yesterday was the 21st of November. Each to their own. Right, let's check the levels and let's get going. There goes Steve, just under the bridge. There is a water point, or two water points I think, just up here, but you can only get sort of one boat on. We're going to wait till Burton. Uh, we have got a load of washing going at the moment, so you'll hear the engine making all sorts of funny noises. We have to keep the revs right up to use the washing machine, but uh, yeah, we do need to keep on top of the washing. You may remember Nikki's boat, Narrowboat Secret, actually said Alra was on it. Yes, it was moored here. This was its previous home. What a beautiful home it is. Alrawas is absolutely gorgeous and we are coming back up here and gonna stay a few more days. We'll have a bit of a chat about the town in a little while. There's a beautiful boat, beautiful colours. Well, Steve's already in the lock and the river's green, so all is good.
now we're on the river section and then I think it's called Witchner Lock to get us back on the TNM. said about Alrobos. What was it like? <laughs> it was absolutely gorgeous. We went and had a walk around All Saints Church. That was very impressive um, and it was open so that was lovely. We went and had a look inside. Obviously it was very dark. We had a lovely walk around uh, a little bit of the village and saw some of the old cottages. My favourite was Cobweb Cottage. It was I like lovely, that. Wasn't it? Lots of thatched roofs and quaint little, it was, quaint little cottages. Yeah, it lovely. was gorgeous. Thank you. 